What's happening, guys? It's TJ Ellis, your dad, right? As you can imagine, I'm pretty upset about this draft. Right? But the reason why I'm upset about it, um, it has a lot to do with the New Orleans Saints, right? Because I live here, you know? This is, my, this is my city, right? Been a Saints fan all my life. All my life, right? I've been a Saints fan so long, I remember my uncle taking me to the game when I was like seven, six, seven years old, man, and we're catching the St. Claude bus to the game, right? A lot of y'all don't know about catching the bus to the game. Caught the St. Claude bus to the game. We got off on St. Claude and Franklin, right? Because my uncle needed to get his brown paper bag, right, and a marker. So even though he was a season ticket holder, he still would stop pretty much every home game and get one of these get one of these shirts and get one of these bags right get a bag and he'll put the bag um he'll cut the bag right cut the little eyes out and everything and then write write inks on it right he did this every week All right and you know he died <laughs> Die believing in this team, you know, and you know, and God bless the memory of my uncle. He loved it, right? I'm not that. I'm not that loyal to it. I, my tolerance for bad football. I, you know, that's it. I, I can't. I can't do it, especially when you consider the fact that the Saints had the worst defense in the NFL. It was the worst. It was the worst defense. They didn't get any. They didn't get any bad. Worse than the Saints, right? It was an embarrassment. Like the Saints used to make ESPN just for how embarrassing their secondary was. And here we are, in New Orleans, 80 miles that way, guys. 80 miles that way is a Walmart of defensive players at LSU. Mickey Loomis will not draft one of them. I don't know what this moratorium is that Mickey Loomis have. I'm coming. Just give me a second. I don't know what this moratorium is that Mickey Loomis has against the Saints, I mean, against LSU. But it's obvious and it's blatant that the Saints hate, Saints hate LSU, right? They hate them. And I can, I can say that boldly now because it was blatant with this draft. As horrible as the Saints was on defense, with 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 the first pick they grabbed the defensive tackle. Okay, I'll give them that. Wasn't the best defensive tackle they could have grabbed. That was the defensive tackle that Mel Kuyper told the Saints to grab. And Mickey Loomis, he's so stupid that Mel Kuyper said, "This is the best choice for you, this kid Rinkins out of Louisville." That's what Mel Kuyper. That's what Mickey Loomis is going to do. Cause Loomis don't have a clue. If you want to rebuild the defense, you rebuild the defense with a linebacker first. You start in the middle of everything. You start in the middle with your center. You start in the middle with your linebacker. Then you build. When the Ravens was building that team, they started with Ray Lewis. When Elway was building Denver, he, start, he started with Von Miller. When Mike Singletary built Chicago, they started. It started with Singletary. When Mike Dicker. Did Mike Dicker started with Singletary. Right? The Dome Patrol with Sam Mills. Saints don't even have an identifiable linebacker. So with your first pick, you go get a guy you could have got in a second. Let all the good linebackers go. And then you go get, in a second, you go get a wide receiver out of Ohio. Out of Ohio. Not only did you get a wide receiver out of Ohio, you turn right around and you get a safety out of Ohio. The same Ohio that played a flag football team schedule. Like, I call it a sippy cup. It's a sippy cup schedule. That's how we go look at Ohio 2015 schedule. I could have got drafted too. If I would have played for Ohio in 2015 with my out of shape self, I could have got drafted. They didn't play nobody. And every one of those kids got picked up in ESPN. It's all excited. Like, oh, oh, look at, look at, look at Ohio. Ohio's doing so wonderful. Ohio is drafting all of these players. And they play, Ohio played a bunch of junior high, junior colleges. 
They got a whole schedule of junior colleges. The only team that was formidable, Alabama, embarrassed them on national TV. Yep. And the Saints go get two of those quitters and put them on their team. Two of those. Two. Not one. Because one Ohio player, that wasn't good enough. You had to get two. Meanwhile, you had Jalen Mills. You let him go to the Eagles. Let that kid fall all the way down there to seven. Yeah, Deion, Deion Jones sitting right there. Deion Jones, Deion Jones lived almost across the street from the Saints. Played at LSU, live on the West Bank. They wouldn't draft that kid. Every opportunity that, that Mickey Loomis and the Saints have had to draft a player from LSU, they have avoided them by any means necessary. I'm telling you, there is a moratorium. At the Saints against LSU players. And all of these people who are calling themselves LSU players and don't hold, don't call the Saints out on this, you just like the color purple. You don't like LSU. Because if you did, you would take offense to the fact that we have an NFL team right in our backyard and they'll go all the way to Alabama and pick up two of those players at a bargain basement when you had kids that you could have gave the opportunity to from right down the street. So I'm done with the Saints. I denounce the Saints. I am no longer, from this day forward, I'm no longer a fan of this, right? I'm done. And set. Can't be done unless you set some fire to something. So being that I'm done, right? This is symbolic. This is symbolic of any feelings I had for the Saints, anything I felt for the Saints is over. You can't pick one. You was, you was ranked last in defense. And all LSU has produced is defensive players, and you can't get one of them. You can't get one. Yeah, I'll stand out here at the risk of getting electrocuted to let the Saints know I'm done with you. I wish I, wish I could still curse. I really do. Because anytime you go pick a, a wide receiver from Ohio and and you you were the laughing stock of the NFL on defense and you go you go get a, a wide receiver with that defense that we had last year. Not we, not we. Forgive me, Lord, because it's no longer we. I'm 100 percent tiger. LSU Nation, stop supporting these Saints. Saints ain't loyal. Saints ain't loyal, and they don't love you. Stop supporting them. If you are an orthodox, orthodox member of the LSU Nation, cut ties with the Saints. They can move the Saints to Alabama as far as I'm concerned. I send them to San Antonio. But that's that's not, I'm done with them. This uh, been losing since, been losing since 2000, since 2009, right? That's why I call them Sanksterella. You had that one good moment and then it was over with. It's back to rats and rags. But Saints fans, you got the memory of goldfish. Already you done forgot how horrible the Saints was as you renew these season tickets for another losing season. Give me my Tigers. Give me purple. You can keep your Saints. I, and, and as long as they keep avoiding LSU players, they're going to continue to lose. TJ, LSU.